Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys a game that had a whole bunch of Eternal Knights. It's a Toki game, so you can imagine we access some of those high tavern tier cards pretty early, but it really serves as a lesson to show that if you get early, like really early, Eternal Knights and they're actually dying in combat and you get a golden one, keeping it and making a build around it actually seems pretty good. It's not something that I quite thought because in the first few iterations of Undead, it was much more focused on the Tavern 6 side of things, but now it's a little bit less so and the regular Eternal Knight is actually coming out as a real winner. Enjoy. Another night, another battle. Be brave and fight true. My work here is done. Good luck. Crypt cheap phase myrtle. I don't know, I got it in five, I think. Is that a cheater's score? What do you guys think? I didn't cheat very well. My favorite Bob. I kind of like this one and the the Butler one. My work here is done. Good luck. Some new recruits. They'll oh, give man. your team that extra bit of magic. This early, that's very good. Holy crap. Okay. Leveled. He had a Naga starter, though. It's a good chance it's the 3 1. But it doesn't have to be. I still believe in you. You just have to believe in yourself. I think I'm getting sniped. This dude is like spam waving. Selling a three like the You were great in that battle. The spellcraft Naga and selling that to level the three is pretty weird. When they My emote, it means they want you to Good level luck. with them. He was spam emoting during combat too. So, I don't buy that at all. I got the Murloc because it's a Murloc. Not for any other reason. I'm just having like a Coke Zero. I already had advanced tonight, but maybe I should have had an energy. See what happens when you dress for success. Thought I was supposed to snipe this, the guy's thing. How's it still alive? What? Recruits, they'll give your team that extra bit of magic. The shop is growing stronger with you. I take the soul splitter and use the hero power again. You're unstoppable. Man, this is bullshit. Why am I playing 3 2 1? At least those two actually played against each other. Oh no. Well, don't let it get you down. Done. Fine. I'll just buy that, I guess. Wow. Okay. Looking 
good. Is the night triple even worth it? Probably, yeah. Good luck out there. I believe it. Fives do I want? What do you mean fives? These are sixes. Your energy drink. Strawberry shortcake. See what Advanced GG. For success? These high rolls, it's pretty good, I'd say. Wow, 448, 404, Skyfin. Jesus. Turn 18, isn't that crazy? See what happens when you dress for success? Nuts. Oh my god. 15 to lose. I definitely have lost. That is absolutely ridiculous RNG. Actually, maybe not. 50, 50. I lost it. Okay, dude. What a bunch of horse shit. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Top three in cycle again. Even in the face of defeat. Oh, okay. For justice. It may not be the most powerful minion on the field, but it's brave. The spirit will consume you. Not too afraid of cleave. No beasts, no mechs, no elementals. Yeah, feeling pretty safe. Oh. Right. See what happens when you dress for success? guy that won a 15% has the highest health in the lobby and is currently first place. 
I've played top three uh, a few too many times in a row, I would say. But You're my angel investor. For you, anything. Fine. I'll have them ready for I found an interesting life pro tip. I'm just... I'm showing this so we can make the world a better place. If you find a way to do something at your work faster, keep it a secret from your manager. Your work likely values high performers, not process improvers. If you tell your boss about a faster way to do something, they will have you do it that way from now on. You will likely be rewarded with nothing. If you keep it a secret, you can use your added efficiency to marginally perform better and you'll likely be rewarded with promotions, I praise, and more free time. No to you. No, I can't. Oh, did it say magically? Yes, magically. Again. If your job can be automated, it will be taken by AI soon anyway. I had a short discussion with this in mind, and um, I think it's pretty interesting. So one of our friends, she's a, a realtor, like she sells houses and stuff. And she was looking into this like See what happens chat when GPT thing. He doesn't have anything. His whole game plan is like removing reborns. Like, please kill him here. One off. It had like a 5% chance to be alive in this spot. Roughly. Great maths. 60% to die here, and he won a 10% before that. Both of those things had to happen for him to be alive right now. Go hire one of those minions to join our team. Anyway, so our realtor friend, she was uh, looking up this AI thing. I guess she was kind of curious if it would like take over her job. And the answer is not really. And I told her this because like she's worried, not worried, but she thought that eventually people would use like something like chat GPT and it would recommend them the perfect house and give them the price that they should uh, pay for it. Change night positioning. There's no clue. That's fine. Thing. She 
be more aware whenever in Toronto eats the real pairs. True. Chat GPT even tells you this in the terms. Um, the guy died of the ghost, of course. Okay. As it should have ended. Um, it's not really recent after 2019. Like, it has a, a recency problem. And I do think that with Microsoft being like a backer of OpenAI, the Chat GPT, and the fact that they're putting into their search function, Bing, I think, especially for the short term, the focus of the AI chatbots will be to have more broad knowledge and for it to be accurate. And for most things, it doesn't really matter if they're a few years old. But yeah, I don't, I don't think too soon it'll replace like realtors and stuff.